Bill Hartman was tragically murdered by his wife, Bryn Omdahl, on May 28, 1998. Today, on what would have been his 77th birthday, let's honor the comedic genius and beloved actor whose timeless work continues to bring us laughter and joy. Just tell her it would be a few minutes late, but you shouldn't worry. Oh, she won't worry. I mean, I'm here and... Mm. Oh, these cookies! I gotta get the recipe from Les. Put that cookie down! Now! Bill Hartman was a beloved actor and comedian known for his versatile performances and ability to bring characters to life. He made a significant impact in the comedy world with his regular cast member role on Saturday Night Live from 1986 to 1994, lending his voice to the character of Troy McClure on The Simpsons and starring as Bill McNeil on News Radio. He was a talented comedian who left a lasting impression on audiences and industry professionals alike. Unfortunately, on the night of May 27, 1998, Bill's life was cut short in a tragic and shocking event that shook the entertainment industry. The details of that night and the events leading up to it will be revealed throughout this video. Bill Hartman joined Saturday Night Live in 1986, and it was shortly after joining the show that he met his future wife, Bryn Omdahl. According to Mike Thomas, author of You Might Remember Me, The Life and Times of Phil Hartman, Hartman had a pattern of intense relationships that would eventually dwindle away. He was always on the hunt for something new and fresh, and he had an artist's sight for beauty. Bryn, however, had her own struggles. Her brother, Greg Omdahl, revealed that she developed a drug habit when she first moved to LA. She had a problem with cocaine, and Greg convinced her to go to rehab to kick the habit. Despite this, Hartman and Bryn would marry in 1987 and welcome their first child, Sean, a year later. As Phil's career took off with him winning an Emmy for writing in 1991 and lending his voice to characters on The Simpsons, Bryn became increasingly jealous of his success. She wanted more attention and to be part of the spotlight. In 1994, after eight seasons on SNL, Hartman left the show and signed on to an NBC sitcom called News Radio. In 1997, Hartman's co-star, Andy Dick, gave Bryn some cocaine after she asked if he had any. This led to her relapse, which her husband and friends were unaware of. Bryn also struggled with low self-esteem and was worried about getting older. On the night of May 27, 1998, Bryn went out for dinner with a friend, Christine Zander. They had drinks, and Bryn seemed to be in a good mood. However, after returning home and having a heated argument with Phil, Bryn waited for Phil to fall asleep then entered his bedroom in the early hours of May 28th, pulled out a Charter Arms 38 caliber handgun and shot him once between the eyes, once in the throat, and once in the upper chest. Bill was killed instantly. Bryn then drove to her friend's house, Ron Douglas, and confessed to the murder, but he didn't believe her. Bryn and Ron then drove back to the house, where she locked herself in the bedroom with Phil's body. Ron tried to get her to come out until he heard a loud gunshot from inside the room. The police arrived shortly after and found both Phil and Bryn dead. The entertainment industry was shocked by his death, and many shows, including Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons, canceled their rehearsals and shows that day. His death was a huge loss for the entertainment industry, and many people have paid tribute to him, including a special episode of Saturday Night Live, a dedication on The Simpsons, and posthumous award and honors, such as a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and the Canadian Comedy Award. Despite his untimely death, his talent and contributions to comedy will always be remembered.